All right, guys. So I have the very kind owner of the restaurant here. His name is Mr. David. Hi, Mr. David. It's a pleasure meeting you. Oh, yes, sir. We are all good. Can you say hi to our viewers, please? Hi, how are you? <laughs> all right. So um, he's been very polite from the time we are here, and he's even. given us this lovely drink here which is pineapple and pomegranate i'm going to quickly get a sip of this mm this is very delicious i never expected pineapple to go well with pomegranate actually i ordered for lime soda and adrian went for the lemona and i was like you know i should have gone for something better but next time i'm here i know what to order all right so Uh, Mr. David, how's your experience been in Goa so far? Oh, I love Goa. I love Goa. So I've do I. I've been here when I was uh, 21 first time. That was 30 years ago. 30 years and ago. Still have a, Goa. Still have a feeling of freedom. Feeling of freedom. That's right. Mr. David here is all the way from Israel, I and am. I happen to tell him that I love a lot of Israeli shows. We spoke about this show called Foda. If you haven't watched it on Netflix, you should make sure Run to watch to it, watch. right? You have Binge to watch four it. season, <laughs> all four seasons, right? So, uh, Mr. David, what about uh, the restaurant? Like, since how many years you are operating this? How's your experience uh, with that? Now we finished the eight years. Eight years in the wow. restaurant. Yeah. That's lovely. It's going very good, and soon we're going to close for monsoon. But looking forward to come back in September for the next season. September for the next season. All right. Thank you so much for talking Thank to you. us, Mr. Nice David. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And if I'm here in September, I guess I'll be here in October. I will come back to meet you again. Sure. Hopefully, Fauda comes up with another episode, and we can talk about that with another season. I mean. All right. I'm Thank you. Hey guys, welcome to my channel once again. I am in Anjuna, Goa, and we are visiting a place called. You can see right here behind me. It's called Goa's Ark. We are in Anjuna, and as I mentioned, we are at Goa's Ark, and I love this place for its parking. It has a huge parking here, so if you are getting your two wheelers, four wheelers, guys. you don't have to worry about parking there's plenty of parking space here and i'm going to be entering the restaurant right now let's go inside and check out uh, goa's ark that's what the entrance looks like we've entered here and check this out i love the advertising done by goa brewing company they have these surfboards and look at this lovely bike here it's a himalayan by royal enfield and that's where we are going to sit check this place out it has a very uh, typical goan seating it has lots of tables we've chosen this table and look at the view here the view is great such a peaceful such a quiet uh, restaurant today we are trying something different we are here to have some mediterranean food because we had a lot of fish thali lot of fish mussels okay and that's the menu of goa's ark they have uh, many options mostly turkish israeli mediterranean quite a big menu they have uh, shakshuka porridge muesli that's the breakfast menu they have lots of sandwiches with feta and uh, falafel schnitzel okay lots of different options here most of the options i can see here are egg and veg okay and along with this they also have uh, drinks here so they also serve orange juice uh, mango and they even have coffee and tea so as you can see even here the menu is a big menu lots of options here they even have chicken if you watched my video uh, from uh, arjuna they served only veg food they had similar kind of menu but they have chicken they have uh, meat as well and this is their special the falafel burger the ark burger i guess i'm not sure they have a big menu i'll go through their menu and check what i would like to have uh because it thought we again ordered for some lime soda and adrian has gone for what what's your drink called lemona lemona she's called gone for something called lemona so let's see what lemona is 
All right, so look at Adrian's drink. It's called Lemona, and she's gone for this very fancy-looking drink. Adrian, does does it taste as good as it looks like? Yes, it's very refreshing and very minty. Okay. Sweet and salty. Sweet and salty, nice. If you don't mind, can I take a yes. sip of this? Let me just stir it. No problem. That's okay. I think you've stirred it enough already. Hmm. That is actually very refreshing. We've gone here for the lemon soda, sweet and salty. It is minty. Yes. And I think I should have gone for that drink, but that's okay. If you can see right behind me, he is the owner. He is very kind. He is told uh, the server here to get a special pineapple drink for me, and I'm curious to chat with him. Let's see where he is from. What's his name? We'll get a little chat with him, and uh, we are in the process of ordering some dishes. So let's see what we have to go for. Mama there is in charge of ordering because she has a lot of experience with Mediterranean cuisine. So we have Madin and Mama eating here. They love the food. Madin just told me that she uh, tasted the food and she loved it and she felt like she is somewhere in the Gulf. And if you can see Mama there, she is enjoying her food as well, right? Yes, also I think I am in the Gulf. She also thinks that she is somewhere in the Gulf because it's Mediterranean. And this right here is Adrian. Adrian has finished <laughs> of everything from her plate. So definitely she's loved everything. It's my turn. I have taken bits and pieces of everything. Let me quickly taste everything for you right away. And we have some more dishes on our way as well. Excuse me for a moment. All right. Let's see what we got here. First, I'm going to taste the hummus with some meat. Hmm. The hummus is actually very good. Same flavor as what I got in Dubai. All of us have been in the Gulf, and anyone who's been in the Gulf and comes back to India, they will certainly love hummus. Let me try the plain hummus. Hmm. Just melts in your mouth with all the lovely flavors, and this is something which is very plain and simple. It's called the Israeli salad. I love it. All the flavors are so good. This right here is very healthy food, and I'm going to taste the eggplant. What did he say? Eggplant satay. Satay. Egg saya satay eggplant. First time trying this. Hmm. So it is. Eggplant is fried. It has tahina in it. Very good flavors, and time to have the pita bread. Hmm. If you see, pita bread is very soft, has a very good flavor. All of this so far has been yummy, and definitely we are going to order for some more dishes. So Mama here has gone for the fish and chips. All right. Uh, what's your review on the fish and chips? How is it tasted? Is it good? The fish is very crispy. Very crispy and, and very fresh. fresh. Fish and chips are fresh. Can I take one? Yes. First to taste. So I am also going to take a small bite of this. Hmm. Actually, very fresh. The coating outside is crispy, and you even get lots of French fries with this. Mama is putting in the sauce for the French fries, and Adrian here has decorated her falafel like it's a cupcake. Okay, <laughs> Adrian, can you please taste your cupcake and let us know? is close close it's very close okay let me try this i am the one who takes bits and pieces of everyone's food hmm it's a bit different as compared to what i've had 
in Dubai maybe you know they are made differently I can taste a lot of the sesame seeds outside hmm that is yummy and along with that Adrian has got the tahino and check this out guys this is crazy I'm going to take my time to review this and Madin here has got her pasta that looks fabulous as well all right so we've got most of our food we are excited to eat all this food here i'll be asking madin for her review i'm going to taste the schnitzel i hope i pronounced it right it's uh, with eggplant in it and there is israeli salad as well with this all right so stay tuned and keep watching the video right until the end look at the size of the schnitzel schnitzel sandwich i have a tough time pronouncing it i hope i got this right again all right so if you look at the bread the bread definitely looks like something that's baked here and it has a chicken breast that has been coated with crumbs and sesame seeds that's been fried and along with this the sauce inside if you see is made out of tomatoes and it has uh eggplant in it all right let me taste this mm i can taste chicken obviously eggplant the tomato is giving it a slightly strong flavor but what i love the most is the bread so it's a very uh, different kind of a sandwich that i've had the flavor is very unique that's why we are here we wanted to taste something different not something that we were having since so many days we had a lot of fish and mind you we uh, enjoyed the fish but it's just that today is our last day and we wanted to try something different and that there is madin madin is having her pasta let's uh, talk to her and get her review but before that let me just get my mic okay madin what do you think about the pasta it's fresh pasta is fresh okay what about the flavors what do you taste nice creamy sauce. creamy sauce creamy sauce you tasted it as with well. mushroom with mushrooms yeah. and there's a lot of cheese in it a lot of cheese in it and the quantity is very good right yeah. and there's mint also in it there's mint as well and if you can see Mama has already finished her uh, fish, fish and chips. Fish and chips, yeah. Chips actually means French fries. The English call it chips. And this is Adrian's plate here. I'm going to get some more of the falafel. It's a bit different, but I liked it nevertheless. So far, the experience has been very different. We've enjoyed the food. Sadly, this is going to be. our last video for this go at you all right guys so i have mr david right here and he is seated here with his friends <laughs> so i wanted to personally come and thank you mr david for the thank food you. i absolutely loved it and i wanted to tell you that i've spent nearly 5 years in dubai uh, and yeah. i got very nice flavors yeah, yeah. of hummus and everything i absolutely loved it thank you so much and i'm coming back again here soon next week Take care, my boy. Best food in town. <laughs> Best food in town. All right. Best restaurant in town. Best restaurant. Yay! You want to say something? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Take care, guys. Bye, bye. 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 So you know that's the best part about logging. You never know who you're going to meet, and you never know what kind of food you're going to eat. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the Goa series. Next, I will be seeing you guys in Pune again. Until next time, take care, stay safe, and stay positive.